Hello guys from my Zero Talk and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today. I mean, let's start to say, first of all, take a look of my pizza dough. Nice, lovely, bubbling. Today, let's carry this everything out. I'm going to show you a fantastic review of Glowen Raptor Pizza Oven with gas and wood option. So right now, it's super hot. I'm ready to make the pizza. But before everything, let's watch what's inside the box. So let's go ahead, smash the like, subscribe, right there is free. We are almost 1 million. And thank you so much, Glowen, for sponsoring this video. If you are interested on this uh, amazing pizza oven, of course, the link is going to be in the description. After that, let's go see what's inside the box. Let's go. Da -da -da -da. Hello, guys, from my studio, Coppelli. Welcome back to my channel. Let me take off the jacket. I'm gonna get ready. This is one of the most interesting, good looking oven in the market. So today I'm going to show you review and unboxing of this uh, Gloven oven. So now let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and let's open up the box. Let's see. Voila. Let's go ahead. Woo. Already, already. Let's see. Already. I have to say they thought about everything. I mean, what company in the market puts you a lighter in the pizza box? Okay, let me show you really quick what's inside this box, guys. Take a look of this, take a look. How professional and uh, good looking is. I wanna show you direct, this is my first time I open this. Take a look, we got a lot of tools, a lot of things. And then I can't wait to, little by little, what's inside here because uh, it's insane. Gennaro, please, come here, Gennaro. Okay, perfecto. First thing here is the, a nice, good looking peel. Let's see the quality really quick. Quality, it's amazing. Nice. I have to say, look how sharp is this peel. What's this? This is probably, oh, oh, hold on a sec. Is this a pizza peel? Take a look guys, that's what I, something I never, I never thought about it, but this is really important because if it rains, you have a cover for the pizza peel. Outstanding. Let's see, what's this? the cover for the pizza oven outstanding wow wow i have to say take a look of this amazing leather apron out of this world i'm gonna put this uh, to go out wow it smells super good okay we got instructional for use well if it's simple we don't need this okay let's go ahead it's probably the pizza stone oh my god i mean i have to say this watch this no one in the market give you this service i have everything that i need in this box do you see this we got the pizza boxes look at this one and two this is the perfect side that goes inside the fridge outstanding glove you're ready i really love you i really love don't even see the, the pizza oven yet let's see this box here what's inside here well, pizza car is a little bit uh, quality, not so good, but it's okay. We got the, well, the, the thing for the gas propane and gas can. We, because we are in Europe today, we have to have use, uh, we have the gas. Voila. We got the gun with batteries. This is high quality. I love it. I'm going to put the battery later. We got the gas option. This is probably the pizza stone because it, it's super heavy. Pizza stone, let's see the quality of the pizza stone. It's good, outstanding. And also we got a branded peel for taking out the pizza. This is it's really good. They thought about everything. Here in this kit, you have everything that you need to make the pizza. The moment of the truth. Three, two, one, right. Take it off, take it off. Boom, guys, we got the pizza oven gently we still have more things inside we got gloves this is probably for the wood we're gonna check it out there later whoa whoa it's big it's big and here we go the pizza oven itself not too heavy not too light wow no feet i guess that's it this is the pizza oven the first thing to do here is to put uh, the stone. Let's put some gloves. Let's get the stone. Let's put this inside. Voila, I don't need the gloves. I think done. Let's say fit really well. Now this, 
thing uh, I believe uh, is uh, for the wood. Let's see. Done. Now let's go ahead and let's put this, the gas option. To take this out, this didn't come with, uh, with the pizza oven. So you have to have this tool only. Save this because uh, if you want to use only wood, you can use only wood. So let's go ahead and let's use the oven with the gas option. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and build it really quick. They have everything that you need to be able to do it. Now let's go ahead and let's put this inside here. Really quick, let's tie this up, not super well, because again, if you wanna use it with the wood, you're gonna be able to take it off and, take, and put it back in. The regulator so this is my change from europe or united states and of course guys they ship worldwide and uh, it's uh, super uh interesting because this oven is really nice and uh, well made okay guys the gas option is made it's put and now i want to show you something it's super important that you understand this the flame on the side it's always better than the flame just in the back because the flame inside is going to circulate inside it's going to create the pressure that this oven is really well made because you see you have a lot of space here and the space here is going to create the, a nice layer of the pressure to cook neapolitan pizza you have to watch until the end to understand what i'm talking about let's see if this one fits really good let's see oh. wow okay guys we are ready to go ahead and review this pizza oven so let me go ahead in the back and then let me fix the oven and then I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything. Okay guys, voila, the oven is in place. We got some pizza dough, take a look, nice and uh, smooth. Let's go ahead and let me show you right now. Let's close this because it, we have only a few minutes to make the pizza. So let's see how long it's gonna take this oven to warm up. So I see already the design of this oven is outstanding. Probably it's gonna work good. What I don't like is that I have to go back here to regulate the the pizza oven and also it doesn't have the click to turn it on there we go nice it's on and you can regulate the flame as you want it beautiful so now it's at the max temperature like you can see here this way you close the gas and this way you open the gas let's go ahead now let me get ready with all the ingredients and i'll see you in a few minutes and we're gonna review this uh, pizza oven and see everything the temperature we're gonna put the timer and see how long it's gonna take to warm up the bottom of the the oven and then we're gonna go ahead and measure three two one pump. and voila guys uh, we are uh, ready to make the pizza like you saw i'm ready with this beautiful amazing good looking uh, apron of pizza oven super super high quality so the oven is uh, right now at uh, outstanding we reach the temperature let's see the top so let's say right now it's a uh, celsius so we are 380 celsius it's super hot so what I'm gonna do before making the pizza, I'm gonna lower down the flame, voila. I put a minimum, and now let's go ahead and let's make the pizza. So let's go ahead, let's stretch the pizza, I don't wanna lose time, let's get some flour on the floor right there, boom, boom, boom. Now let's get the dough and then let's make this pizza because right now I'm super hungry. Flour, nice, this is a 75% of hydration. I make my classic recipe. So let's go ahead. And let's stretch this lovely pizza right there. So, a couple of times in the flour. Now stretch and press, 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 the press, press, press. Voila, take off all the flour from the floor and then boom. Now press more, fill the table and press the air to the cross, guys. Flip it over, same thing on the other side. Boom. Give it a nice close up. Right there. Take off all the air to the cross. Once we have about 10 inches, a little bit of flour on the floor, and then the pizza is uh, ready. So now, for this pizza, we're gonna put a little bit of a tomato, just lightly, on the bottom like that. We wanna make a, a rosé pizza. Now, let's put some uh, pecorino everywhere. It's gonna be super simple. But we're gonna go ahead and finish this pizza after. Then let's put some uh, fresh Rio buffalo mozzarella. Now, flame up. We're gonna keep it at uh, halfway. I'm hearing, so that's uh, how I go with it. Man, look at this, this peel. 
they made a really good job on this because uh, you know you can get it like that but because it's wood so this is how you put the pizza on top of the peel so let's make the pizza about 12 inches guys now is the most important part we have to see how long it's gonna take for this oven to cook my pizza and then it's gonna be the question of today is going to be approved from my Tio Copelli or not that's the goal that's the voice of the truth let's go ahead let's put a pizza inside boom one shot voila let's place the camera there see how long is going to take this pizza oven to cook my pizza guys this is my first time cooking the pizza ever in this pizza oven let's see how long it's gonna take to cook let's check out the bottom really quick oh my gosh i think it's cooking it's cooking lovely let's go ahead let's move a little bit around i warm up the stone for about uh, maybe 20 minutes so i'm moving around just to cook the bottom a little bit i don't follow any instruction on this so voila about to be ready okay i think it's ready three two one boom voila guys let me give it a close look of this pizza it's a perfect Woo! and now guys come here come here let's see if he's uh, soft and crunchy Shh. that's what i'm talking about so now this is the pizza how it was cooked you can see the top it's perfect holds it really well let's check out the bottom of course the buffalo mozzarella gives you this uh, uh this texture but let's check out the bottom it's a uh, it's still a little white so i'm gonna go ahead it's cooked but it's a little white not burn at all it's gonna be on max temperature i'm gonna give it another shot to see how long it's gonna cook properly even the bottom so now let's go ahead and let me finish this pizza before making the the other pizza margarita so this is you cut it and then you put uh, some nice little bit of uh, bresaul on top one each slice right there and then we put let's put a little bit of uh, stracciatella on top of the the bresaul a little bocconcino just to show that this is uh, buffalo real buffalo mozzarella little bit of basil everywhere and this is the pizza that was cooked in a growing raptor pizza oven outstanding come out really good i have to say i'm really impressed but uh, i want to make this another try because i want to see how the pizza will come out when it's a it's a perfect temperature it's time to make the margherita pizza quick simple the dough is a little bit uh, overproof of course guys don't judge the pizza but judge the way how this pizza oven cooks I believe it's amazing from the, from the first pizza. So let's go ahead, press everything. Voila. Done. Don't stretch it too much. Let's go ahead and make tomato sauce, parmesan cheese, and then we got some real buffalo mozzarella. Guys, I always not suggest to put buffalo mozzarella because it's too much water in the cheese. So we have to put this overnight in, in the fridge. No editing on this pizza. Then boom, one shot in the oven. Let's keep it there. The flame at a little bit, three quarter of the flame. Not too, too hot, not too, too cold. So let's see, let's see how long it's gonna take to cook. Okay guys, the pizza, it's lovely ready, almost. So let's stop the time in three, two, one, boom. The pizza, it's lovely ready. Okay guys, like you can see, let's check out the bottom of the pizza. Let me finish it. Boom, boom, boom. Voila. The pizza come out lovely, soft and crunchy. Come out perfect. Now this time definitely it come out better. So let's go ahead. Let's see the bottom of the, the pizza. If it was uh, cooked in a perfect way. Let's see the bottom. See, nice and uh, color right now. See, we got everything cooked perfectly. Not burn at all. Outstanding. So now, really quick, let me turn it off the oven. That's how you do it see boom it went off easily how do you clean this pizza oven we just let it burn everything by himself so put at the max temperature the pizza oven and then everything is gonna burn by himself so now the time of the taste the time of the taste before we finish this video let's go ahead let's taste if everything come out uh, nice and uh, crunchy see come out good mm. I have to say 
Glowen Raptor is approved by Maestro Vitio Copelli. I give this oven a nice 8.9 for me and then it come out good just because the plug there is behind the oven. And the other factor is that it gets a little bit hot from outside. Not, not really, really hot, but it gets, you can get burned. Besides that, I think uh, temperature went hot really well. Everything was fantastic. The pizza, mm, it tastes amazing. What can I say? Guys, smash the like if you want to see more. Check out the description in below for getting this pizza oven. I believe now they have a nice uh, discount. And uh, from my Sorito Copelli, this was my review of uh, this pizza oven. Thank you so much, and I'll see you at the next one. Ciao!